What are you guys out here protesting for? No comment. You're hurting me! Why are you guys out here today? Speak to the organizers. I know why you watch this channel. It's for a comedian from Australia's opinion on geopolitical issues in the Middle East. Finally, I will speak out and I will change the world. Not really, but it would be remiss of me not to talk about what we saw on American college campuses, universities throughout England and the UK and Australia, pretty much the entire Western world, over last weekend. We saw young people, particularly Gen Z, holding these universities and college campuses to ransom, demanding that if they didn't do exactly what they said, they would not only take over, but they would stay there and interrupt everything. And I wanted to just start this video before we get into the nitty gritty, talking about exactly my opinion, I know no one cares, exactly my opinion on what's happening in Gaza and the war between Israel and Palestine. Now, frankly, I think that if you don't understand why Israel is where it is, I don't think you should have an opinion on this subject. And I am by no means an expert at all. I know, crazy, right? But what I think is this. What happened last year at that Israeli music festival was horrific, where Hamas walked in and murdered a whole heap of people. Horrific, horrible, and the Israeli government has every right to storm back in and chase those people and take them out. Unfortunately, what is happening in Palestine isn't just that. Because a lot of the people who are having their lives either ended or completely changed forever, ruined, uh, they're living through famine, they're living through disease, they're living through all the most horrific things you could ever imagine, are civilians, are women, children, young people. People who aren't Hamas. Some people say, well, if you're in Palestine and you're in Hamas's pocket, and uh, is that really how we think? Because if Australia's government did something horrific or, or attacked someone, I certainly wouldn't want that country sending bombs to my house because they thought that an Australian government representative lived next door. I wouldn't want that. So we have to think about this from everyone's perspective. And I know that war is hell and it's horrific and civilians die. But to ignore, because this is what happens a lot of the time, we have the left wing idea and the right wing idea, to ignore the intricacies in the middle is ridiculous. The facts are these. Kids are dying in Gaza and they shouldn't be. Simple as that. But what is happening on college campuses doesn't achieve shit. The war that has now started in these universities and these places of education is so dramatic one side versus the other and you have to agree with your team or you're the enemy that it is not going to achieve anything. All these people are doing, the ones that have joined these blockades, these camps, all they're doing is virtue signaling. A year ago, they were doing the same thing for Ukraine. Before that, it was Black Lives Matter. They just love having something to belong to. Most of them don't even know what they are fighting for. Most of them have absolutely no idea what they're arguing for. Why they are protesting here today? Because I want to see empire fall. What empire? From the US to Israel. The empire that's propped up by capitalism. And free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, free Haiti, free Hawaii, free Puerto Rico. They just know that this person's doing it and this person's doing it and I don't want to be seen as the only person doing it and it makes some great Instagram stories so I'm going to do it too. I get to change another flag in my bio. How fantastic. Let's go. I don't have to go to university for a few days. I get a few days off school. Let's go to the fucking blockade. They scream, they cry, they demand, but they don't achieve anything. Damn. Damn. We just wanted to like show the message here the importance of like showing the size between Colombia and these companies. So for example, BlackRock, who we all hate, Chevron, Airbnb. All they're doing is making more people look at what they're doing and go, fuck, I don't want to be a part of that. And then you lose out on what is important about their point of view. Because in reality, all they're doing is sitting there whinging, bitching and moaning. What these people are trying to do is get these universities to cut ties with anyone who is Jewish or Israeli or looks Jewish. And they think by doing that, they're going to stop the war. They're not. 
That's not going to happen. Even if they did do that, that's not going to happen. But why should you force a business, a university, a business, to do exactly what you tell them? Who are you? This is what they say they want. Our three demands from the very beginning were, first of all, total divestment yes. from any uh, any company that profits off of Israeli genocide or apartheid. Mm -hmm. Second of all, we want full financial transparency about the university's investments. Yes. This is information that should be easy to get. The university is hiding it because they know it makes them look bad. And the third thing is total amnesty for anybody who's been disciplined or fired in relation to their actions in the movement for Palestinian liberation. So that means, you know, we're both at risk of suspension. Yeah. Uh, we don't deserve to be suspended. We're living out the values that we were taught um, in our studies here. And if you don't agree with that, every last point of it, then you're evil. You're the enemy. You're complicit in genocide. But honestly, I think everyone can agree. Well, definitely not everyone, but I can agree that I don't disagree with everything these people are saying. I think there's points to be made on both sides. But the people who are involved in these protests, nobody wants to see them win. You're hurting me! Just don't lift You're hurting me! Oh! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, everyone enjoyed that. Everyone across the world enjoyed that. I've had reports from friends whose uh, kids have been in classes where uh, some, of the, some of the protesters have gone in and made people stand up if they support the protests and take photos of people who don't. All this is is bullying people into an opinion. And just like your opinion is based on virtue signaling, People who are bullied into an opinion don't actually hold it. They don't actually believe it. They don't genuinely care. They're just doing it because you told them to in the same vein that you were told to believe this. Not to mention, the vast majority of these people do not fucking know what they are talking about or protesting about. What are you guys out here protesting for? No comment. Why are you guys out here today? Speak to the organizers. Why can't I? I wanted to ask you. Official statements from the organizers only. In the simplest terms, why are you guys protesting? Why are you guys protesting today? Yeah. I, I, I don't think it would be a good idea if we... Why are you guys protesting? Just to be a part of the cause. And what's the cause? Yeah, I, I'm not the right person to talk to either. It's not our job to talk to. We're just here to support. We're not the spokespeople of this event. This is the wrong people to talk to. I'm not asking for the spokesperson. I'm just asking why you guys are protesting. I, I'm not, I, I, this is... Why are you guys here today? We're not interested in speaking with you. ...with tonight's uh, protest. I think the goal is just showing our support for Palestine and demanding that NYU stop. I honestly don't know okay. all of what NYU is doing. Is there something that NYU is doing? I really don't oh. know. I'm pretty sure they're... Do you know what NYU is doing? About what? About Israel. Why are we protesting here? Yeah. I wish I was more educated. I'm not either. Oh. I, came from, I came from Columbia. I was there up at Columbia and we came down. They said NYU these kids who are involved in this protest and, and the ones like it's always this age group right doesn't matter if it's 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 it's always this age group of young people who genuinely believe that anyone gives a fuck what they think these are the same people who sympathize and this is a genuine thing that happened it was a trend on TikTok. young people sympathizing with osama bin laden fucking pardon me they basically get told to do whatever the popular movement is of that month or of that couple of months. They will do what they are told and they will not divert from that way of thinking. Again, I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying there are intricacies involved in this. Right wing media isn't right about it and left wing media definitely isn't right about it. The truth often lies in the middle and I think it's absolutely true in this case. And we see horrible shit coming out of these protests, like this Jewish professor not being allowed onto the campus. What? Because he's a Jew. So I'm going to let you speak to our PL for a minute while I go talk to folks and we can see what okay. we're going to do, okay? So in the meantime, ask, ask, gonna, ask the constable here to say that I should be able gonna, to get I'm in. I'm going to have a conversation. Okay. So we're just going to chat with some of the folks with some in there. Of the folks. So in the meantime, you can speak to Dan and I'll talk to I was asked to you, I asked yeah. the conductor. You can bring a police here. In my mind, just bring police here, police here, bring them, or maybe. Bring them, because I would like to get in. We don't want to call the police. They're working on that right now. Do, do you think they're not letting you in because they think? Because I'm Jewish. Because you have an Israeli. Accent? 
correct because I'm Jewish because I'm I, I, they know where I'm coming from. Like what the fuck? Like are you like do you know anything about the Middle East? On top of that, they're all converting to Islam. Which okay, great. If you want to pray to Allah or Jesus or whoever, all the power to you. But why are you all doing it? It's 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 this hive mind. It's this crazy group think. You know, it's very, very strange. It just so happens that people en masse will do whatever they're told just to fit in. And unfortunately, if you disagree, then violence might just come your way, or at the very least, threats of violence. Yeah, mate, he's, he's just drunk. He's just drunk. Yeah, look after yeah, him, bro. Look after him, bro. Yeah, you're another Zionist. No, no, I want to know what was going on. Uh, Palestinian. Yeah, nice. yeah 15,000 children have been killed. Yeah. And 45 people have been killed. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up. I agree, I agree man. Oh, really? I just wanted to... No, I, I, I've got no... I've got no... Where are you staring to your end? No, here. Where are you staring to your end? No problem. No problem. Are you saying something to them, mate? No. Who's coming? 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 Who's
are Muslim. Many of them are Palestinian. And not a single time have I received a death threat or unkind words from any of them. What's happening in Palestine isn't okay. What happened in Israel isn't okay. What is happening in the Middle East, in that part of the world, that's not okay. War is never good, all right? It is awful. We can all agree upon that. But I think we can also agree that these protesters are fuckwits. Absolute fuckwits who are achieving nothing and changing no one's mind. All they're doing is making more people want to not agree with them. That's what they're doing. And maybe you disagree with me in this whole video, but here's my issue with university students and their opinions and the way they get things across. I know these people are fucking idiots because from the same universities that have these protests, this is the type of shit that comes out of them. Yeah, this. These are intelligent human beings apparently and this is the shit they're being taught, indoctrinated into. War is bad, what's happening in Gaza is bad, horrible, civilians dying, awful. But what is happening on college campuses is achieving nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, Mitty. Probably shouldn't say that there, but uh, hot story too. I used to sell these Peace in the Middle East t-shirts. And when I went to New Zealand, a New Zealand border force stole a box of them. An entire box. They kept them and we never got them back. Don't know why. Never got an explanation. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo au revoir. Bye bye.